Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is HGT, and today in this video we're going to be doing a weapon over overview of the Defiler pistol and Remnant from the Ashes. Now if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I have a bunch of more weapons that I need to do weapon overview, that I'm doing weapon overviews over. So um, if you guys could hit that like button, would really appreciate it. But now, let's get into it. Alright, so let's talk about how you can get this weapon. So, if you want to get the Defiler Pistol, you need to first get to the next area after Earth, which is Rom, and you need to do a dungeon which has the boss of the Harrow in it. From him, you'll actually get the Thermo Geode uh, boss material item, and you'll be able to go to Really Mean Lady in uh, War 13, and, she'll be, and you'll be able to craft it for, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, five Luminous Crystals and the boss I item itself. So, fairly easy to make for what you get. Alright guys, so now let's talk about stats. So, in terms of stats, you're gonna have a... The description reads, it's a short range, medium spread, can hand cannon, which shoots high velocity particles that deal radiation damage. In, in other terms, it's a shotgun. It's a pocket shotgun, and it's really good at being a pocket shotgun. Now, when you first craft this gun, um, it's gonna have a base damage of a 52. It's gonna have an RPS of... Two magazine capacity will be six, and then maximum ammo that you will be able to carry on you will be 36. So not too not too bad, you know, compared to most pistols. I would say the you know the repeater pistol still does carry a lot more ammunition, but you're definitely getting a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to the defiler due to its high damage output. Alright guys, so now let's talk about what makes this gun so fucking amazing. Let's talk about the weapon mod that is unremovable, by the way. So, let's talk about radioactive volley. So, the radioactive volley weapon mod has an effect where it fires a volley of 6 radioactive projectiles that bounce off of the environment and deal 56 radiation damage each. Now, that is the base damage, so when you first uh, craft it, that, that 56 is the base damage, and you will be able to upgrade it. As you upgrade it, that damage will go up and get higher. So, so you have to think of it like this, 56 times 6, that is, if, I'm, my, if my math is correct, 336. So 336 damage if all of your volleys hit an enemy, that can do a lot of damage. And recently I actually just used that on the uh, on one of the new on one of the most recent bosses I fought, and I actually have a ring that uh, has a five or six percent chance of getting 300 uh, percent that has chance of getting 300 percent damage off of an enemy off of a crit. On the enemy and I used that with the radioactive volley and I did some fucking monumentous damage I think I recorded it um, I want to say that's what happened but knowing me I probably that's not what happened but yeah so it does a lot of freaking damage guys so you know this gun is definitely really really good for those people trying to do a lot of damage hell even if you're going with you know even that support build you know for your teammates and stuff like that this weapon can still be very very well and if you're playing that sniper that long range sniper role this gun is still really good because if you got to get up close and personal you know some enemies are stinking up behind you or something like that you know you're playing you're in the boss room and some uh, some of the mobs stink up on you hell this thing will this gun will melt them and it will it will make you feel safe I'm telling you it will make you feel really really safe okay guys so I got some gameplay footage for you here today so you guys can see this gun in action now I do use this gun against bosses so you guys if you guys watch my boss videos you guys will see that you know I do I, I've been using it, uh, but uh, I just kind of went back to Earth just to use it on these enemies. Why? Because I hate these enemies. Now, I just want you guys to know something. I do have this weapon upgraded, I think, plus three or plus four, I want to say. So my damage output is a little bit more than what I did say uh, the base damage was, which I believe was 52. So just keep that in mind. Now, I want to tell you guys something. You can totally, now you don't even have to use this gun in order to kind of build up that radioactive volley mod. You can actually use your primary and kind of use that and, and if you want to, you know, a good strat you can use with this is you can totally, uh, you can, and right here, I'm sorry, just real quick, right here you saw me um, switching, it's RB, and you can switch between the different firing modes. 
but um yeah but what i was trying to say was uh you could totally one stride is you can have your primary out and um you can do damage with your primary but you can still build up that radioactive volley and so that way you, you still don't have to use your you know your uh defiler but you can but you could still get that radio radioactive volley so when say it comes time for you to use radioactive volley uh all you have to do switch switch back to your defiler switch back to that uh that that different mode that different firing mode and you'll be doing a lot of damage as you guys saw i was one-shotting these enemies now granted like i said i am a little bit stronger uh than earth area as i'm currently running through courses so just keep that in mind but still this gun does a lot of damage especially like even when i started upgrading it you know plus plus two plus three uh this gun still does some a pretty good amount of damage especially when you're hitting those crits in uh even in courses you know with a lot of the you know tougher enemies uh so yeah all right guys so now let's talk about the weapon pairing so now i want to let you guys know something i don't have every you know gun every long gun in the game so please take what i say with a grain of salt and also by the end of, and at the end of the day your your it doesn't really technically matter these are just some gun these are just two of the beginner guns that i know everyone is going to have to that i know that i feel like would probably benefit your loadout the most kind of like you know like apparently you know of course like a pairing so but at the end of the, like i said at the end of the day it's your choice on what you want to use i'm just simply giving my recommendations you do not have to li listen to me now to start things off the coach gun the reason why i'm choosing the coach gun is because the coach gun has a magazine capacity of two and it is pretty much a shotgun it's a longer range it's kind of like it has that kind of medium to it has that i'm sorry that short to medium range compared to the regular shotgun which is really only good up for short range engagements but um the defiler pistol i think really goes well with the coach gun due to that small magazine size you can easily like get two shots off with your uh your high damage coach gun and then switch off to your defiler and then um kind of maybe if the enemy is not necessarily dead you can finish them off you know without having to quickly you know without having to reload that coach gun and then the hunting rifle the reason why is because basically it kind of talk it's kind of like that you know long range what are you going to do at short range so maybe instead of you know the hunting rifle is actually not that bad and you know if you have the aim the hunting rifle is actually pretty good at close range engagements as well but if you you know say your aim isn't really that good or if you're like me don't use aim snap then you might want to go with the defiler as your secondary just because for those close quarters engagements you don't have to worry about um you don't have to worry about you know missing so many shots and uh, you know, it's it's a lot more manageable to use the defiler at close range than say something like the the hunting rifle. So that's just my you know personal opinion. Like I said, I, I want to just kind of reinforce this. These are just recommendations. These aren't anything like you have to do these. These are the most optimal way. These are just some recommendations I have for you guys. And also, and like I said, I don't have every weapon in the game like the assault rifle, the beam rifle. Um, I don't have the sniper rifle. So you know I, I i still don't have all of the guns so this definitely could change over time and if it does i will actually put in the description anything that has changed any opinions that i have that have changed uh any updates or anything like that so please make sure you guys are looking at the description to make sure any you know what has been updated if anything all right guys so in conclusion i would say the defiler is a really really good pistol it has a very high damage that radioactive volley very high damage i mean we're talking crazy amounts of damage and like i said if you uh pair that with the uh the devouring loop ring you know you have opportunities to do a shit ton of damage if you're hitting those cr if you get lucky and get those crits uh now it only it only is a short percent uh chance of getting that crit that 300 percent but it still makes a hell hell of a difference um but yeah guys so i would highly recommend you make this gun if you guys get the opportunity to make this gun i highly recommend it now 
I would recommend that if you do get it when you're in the ROM area, I recommend you put a, you start upgrading it right away because once you get to courses, if you haven't upgraded it yet, it definitely will lack in its damage, especially its base damage without the radioactive volley, it will start to suffer. So um, that's just kind of like from personal experience, I, I was, I, I think it was about three body shots for most enemy, for most enemies in courses. Uh, ex well, except for, the, of course, the the more elite enemies, uh, the more base, you know, smaller enemies t took about maybe two, three shots to the body in order to kill at, I would say, plus, plus one or plus two uh, upgrades. So uh, definitely keep that in mind, guys. But, um, but yeah, so that ends off this weapon overview for the Deviler pistol. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope, hope it was any in any means of interesting or helpful to you guys in any way i just this is the first time i've ever done anything like this so it's kind of nerve-wracking it's kind of very scary because i don't know how the community is going to react to this because for all i know i completely just made myself look like a fucking idiot and just did some really dumb shit but um but yeah guys so hopefully this video is you know was was met your expectations and uh yeah so thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel please leave a like comment and subscribe like always my name is Ishiti and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye i think it's time to blow this thing get everybody in the stuff together okay three two one let's jam